grown up on the country music bus was pretty much my whole life. But the longest bus ride, country music bus ride I've taken in my life, still goes back to 1973. I was just a kid playing in Lester Flats band. Check it out. Finished playing our songs on a Wednesday night in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And on Sunday afternoon, the same week, we had to be in Miami, Florida, play a bluegrass festival. Long ride. Finally got down to Florida. Pulled our bus up under this pretty old tree. And there was an old gentleman that caught my eye. He was holding court under that tree. He was cool. He was magical. He was mystical. Had silver hair. Smoking a cigarette, carrying a briefcase, had on a Seminole Indian coat, flip flops, Bermuda shorts, a high side shirt, wearing a bolo tie. But there was something about him. Lester Flatt finally spoke up and said, Well, I wish you'd look there. There stands Mr. Irvin T. Rouse. I said, Who is Irvin T. Rouse? He said, He's the man who wrote the famous song about the train called The Orange Blossom Special. I said, All right. So I had to meet him, you know what he did. Got my camera, jumped out of the bus. Shook hands with Mr. Irvin Rouse and tried to talk to him. But I found out pretty quick that he wasn't at home in his mind anymore, you see. But you could tell greatness had once been there in them old bones. He was so cool. In his good days, Mr. Irvin played a fiddle. He was mighty good. Had a brother named Gordon that played the guitar. And he used to travel all up and down the eastern seaboard here in the forward car, playing for Nichols and Diamonds and Quarters with their hats on the corners. Not long before he passed away, a journalist from the Miami newspaper went into the Everglades to do the final interview of Mr. Irvin's life. Last question of the day was, Mr. Irvin, you've written a lot of good songs. Which one do you want to be best remembered for? Irvin said, well, how about that? I made up about the train that time called The Special. He just called it The Special. It's been played 10 million times. Here comes 10 million and one. <laughs> I think. All the way from the mysterious Everglades of Florida up here to the beautiful town of West Virginia. Mr. Irvin's song about the train, Orange Blossoms, Mr. Look out the coming, coming down that railroad track. Look out the coming. Yes, I'm 
sand in my shoes. Maybe California. Good.